Now, for factoring this uh, question, what we have to do is um, isolate all the terms on one side of the equation. So we have to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. So this becomes 9x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals 0. And so if we're going to factor the trinomial on the left side, what we're looking for is two numbers that have a product of 9 times negative 2, which is negative 18. So the product has to be negative 18, and the sum has to be negative 3. And for the sum to be negative 3 and the product to be negative 18, one of the numbers has to be negative and the other has to be positive, and the larger number is going to be negative. And the two numbers... Uh, are going to be negative 6 and positive 3. So what we're going to do is decompose this middle term, and so we're going to write this as 9x squared minus 6x plus 3x minus 2 equals 0. So we'll put brackets around the first two terms, and the last two terms and note that we can't uh, we can't factor in anything in the second bracket but in the first bracket we can factor out uh, 3x squared 3x sorry so 3x times 3x minus and 3x times 2 negative 2 is negative 6x so 3x is the greatest common factor plus, and I'm going to put in 1 here, because 1 is understood to be in front of the brackets, and this is going to be 3x minus 2 equals 0. So when we factor this, we're going to get 3x from here, plus 1, times 3x minus 2 equals 0. And so this is why we're getting in the habit before of writing this as an equation. So 3x plus 1 can be 0, and that will make the equation true. And so 3x, this simplifies to be 3x equals negative 1, divide both sides by 3. So x then, running out of room here, is equal to negative 1 third. So if x equals negative one-third, the first bracket is equal to zero, so it ends up being zero times a number, which is going to be zero, so that will make the equation true. So our first root is negative three. And the other possibility is three x minus two is equal to zero, which will make this equation true. And we add two to both sides, so this is three x equals two, divide both sides by three, x equals 2 over 3. So our two solutions are, are x equals one, negative 1 third and x equals positive 2 thirds.